Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I'm giving a quick update on the Supermax and the uh, Centroid all-in-one DC control uh, back panel wiring. Um, I got the back panel all wired up and uh, this morning I test fired everything. Uh, everything's connected except the uh, servo motors. I'm waiting on another servo motor to show up. But uh, it was a good morning. Um, I did some basic checks before I fired up the uh, control. Um, but uh, it's, it's uh, up and running and that's a good thing. Let me uh, turn you around and let you take a look. Okay, there you can see the all-in-one DC and the back panel. Um, you see the uh, bridge and the DC capacitor in the upper right corner. Uh, right in the middle top, you'll see the e-stop relay and the typical 15-position uh, terminal block. I use DIN-styled uh, terminal blocks. And then lower left there, you see the VFD. And right here, this is a step-down transformer for the servo motors. Their max terminal voltage is uh, 120 volts, I believe. No, 140. So this is putting out about 110 volts of, uh, well actually I'm sorry, it's putting out about 80 volts of AC and then once it's rectified it's uh, times 1.414 whatever that comes up to. Um, we can take a look at that voltage here shortly. Um, the uh, pendant is up and running and lit. Let me take you down to the control. CNC 11 is up and running. Right now you see there's a stall error reported. Um, that's because we don't have uh, servo motors uh, connected to it yet. So the way to get rid of that is we go to setup, config, 137, and we go into PID, we do a control V, and that disables stall detection, disable just temporary for testing. I'm going to go ahead and reset the stop. If you listen, you'll hear the e stop relay energize. Okay. The uh, little door fan there is hooked up and running. And you can see life on the all in one DC. See the four flashing. And uh, let's check the voltage. See if I can do this one handed. I'm going to do it at the uh, capacitors. Okay, we're getting 112 volts of DC, which should be fine. Um, like I said, everything's pretty much wired up. I use the Panduit uh, wireways on this one. And I've got a little 6 amp circuit breaker running there. And uh, so it's a good morning. Everything's up and running and ready to go back into the cabinet more permanently so I can start wiring limit switches and so forth. So uh, it's a good morning. Okay, that's it for the update. The control back panel is wired up and functional ready to go in permanently into the Supermax. Talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.